Pachu. Uh, this is Bradford here, uh, Chief CEO of Bradford School of Flying. And today, I'm going to give you a lesson in how to hide good. But why hide, Bradford? Well, there's uh, tons of situations that happen in space uh, where you will not want to be seen. Uh, maybe you've got a ton of illegal slaves crammed into canisters. Uh, maybe you're carrying a criminal mastermind. Okay, maybe you maybe you just run into your ex-girlfriend, uh, who you left in an SRV stranded on a planet in hopes of getting rid of her. But she's a gotten back somehow, and you don't want to see her, or there's going to be some hell to pay. Now, there are lots of situations where a commander would want to hide. So, step one is to realize that everything is about how hot you are. That's right. In order to hide, you have to become as unattractive as possible, because nobody likes to look at ugly people. Now, go into your Hollowby settings, and you got to just make yourself as ugly as possible. Just do the thing, slide them around, and it'll happen. Now, uh, some of you may not need to do this step uh, if you're already ugly, but uh, don't worry, just look around the galaxy. Practically everyone aside from uh, Imperial Princess looks like a deformed uh, swamp creature. So it doesn't matter that you have the face of a horse, as long as you don't die, because uh, if you do, there's a creature called a Yamix, uh, which makes his home inside of dead horses, and uh, he likes to beat his home. That's, that's what happens. You don't do that. Now, step two is that now you are an ugly person, uh, you need to get cool. And Bradford knows what you're thinking. How can I be cool if I look ugly as a, as a butt during a poo-poo? Well, I don't mean that silly. I mean your temperature. You gotta cool off your ship if, so it doesn't show up on the radar for the predators out there. Now, you can do this by turning off your electric... Okay, shit, I meant uh, to turn your stuff off, uh, not mine, the stupid computer. Turn the stupid computer off. Now, step three is to use heat sinks. Now, heat sinks have a very ironic name, uh, because Science Guy told me that heat likes to rise, uh, but these are heat sinks. And uh, what they do, uh, they change the laws of the universe and make you as cold as a foreigner song called Cold as Ice. That's how cold, it's pretty cool. Now, step four is to stay cool and uh, don't let anyone see you. Uh, now, this works best if you don't go in front of someone and make eye contact. Uh, stay behind people. You're going to be seeing a lot of ship butts this way, but those butts won't be seeing you. And that's the point. Step 5 is this thing called Silent Runnings, which is not to be confused with the movie about a group of monks uh, who accidentally enter a bobsled tournament. Uh, when you turn Silent Running on, your shields will go off, and you'll start heating up like a, like a male cat that was not neutered. But uh, instead of humping all the furniture, you'll literally burn to death. So make sure you keep popping those heat sinks, and uh... Oh shit, I'm out of these things. Now that you're invisible, you can do anything! There's times like this that Bradford likes to fill up his ship with illegal boozes and go around selling them in places that don't have a lot of booze uh, to make money. Uh, but don't let being invisible go to your head. Uh, you can't fly a ship into the ladies' washroom, so uh, stick to space and don't get any ideas like that, you prefert. Uh, anyways, uh, that's the, today's lesson, so uh, uh, I'll see you later. Or, or will I? I sure hope not. Oh shit, my, my school is gone. What have I done?